And uh, the next thing I want to show you is how to add video. This is cool. Let's say you've made a little Windows Media file. Let me find one here for you. Insert image. Excuse me, that's the wrong thing. There we go. We're going to go to insert. There's audio and video, so you can insert a song if you want people to be able to click and play that song or download the song, vice versa. Let's insert a video. So you can go to insert video, and I'm going to select the video folder, uh, a folder on my computer that has some videos. And um, I'm just going to open up this one and click insert. There we go. Now we have the video. We can size it, um, move it where you want. I'm going to double click it. It's going to open up the video properties box. You can pick the type of player you want it to play in. A Windows media player, which is pretty standard. That's what I would pick. You can do QuickTime or real player. Whatever you think your customers or people who will be watching this would rather see it in Windows Media Player is what I recommend. You can have it auto start. If you unselect it, it will not start up unless they click play. Uh, you can also get rid of the controls. If you don't want people to be able to control it, maybe you want it to auto start and ha make them have to listen to it. Whatever your choice is, that's up to you. When you do that, you just go ahead and click OK. And you have a video. It's going to take a little while. You can see a new folder was created, Media. I have my file right there. If I want to add another video, I can just bring it right out. So we see that this video is up. It will be up and running. All we got to do is go ahead and publish it, and you will be able to see your video. It's going to take a little longer to publish because the file size of a video is bigger. Now, that is one way to add video. I want to show you another way to add video. This is a way you can add YouTube videos um, to your website and some of the other video sites. This is cool. A lot of people like to do this. You could you could technically create a website with all YouTube videos, some of your favorite YouTube videos. So let's go to youtube.com. We're going to open up one of my websites. Actually, let's do this. Let's type in dance. This evolution of dance video, if you haven't seen it, it's really funny. It's got a ton of views. All you do is you're going to click and open that, that, that video, whatever one it is. What's cool, too, is you can upload your own videos on YouTube and grab those also. Now, when you found the video that you want to embed into your website, there's an option that says Embed. What you're going to want to do is highlight that code all the way, right-click, and copy that code. Now you can't just go ahead and paste this code. What you need to do is insert HTML. This is HTML code. Now you don't need to know coding. Uh, it helps to know coding, but I'm going to show you how to use this code to put video. And go to Insert, go down to Coded Elements, Code Elements, and click on HTML. It's going to open up a box. All I got to do is paste that code. I don't have to know the code at all. You can see here that the dimensions are 445 for the width and the height is 364. That is the size of the video. That is how big I need to make this box. So I'm going to click OK. There we go. See, this box is small. Right now, if I upload or publish this page to my website, this video might show up, but there's going to be scroll bars, and people aren't going to be able to see it good. So what we want to do is drag this. Now, when you drag, you'll see down in the bottom corner here, as you are dragging right over here, the size. See, as I drag, you can see those numbers change. I want to make sure I'm going bigger than 445 and 364 for the. So we want to go 440, 445. So I'm going to go 6, 462 and just drag this down to 370. Let's go 378. There we go. As long as you make the box bigger than these dimensions, it will play. All that you do is go ahead and publish that. Now people will be able to see YouTube videos right on your own website. So this is a really cool feature, and it's really easy to do. There's other websites, I believe, like Reaver and uh, Yahoo Video, Google. Some of these other sites give you the option also. I recommend YouTube. That's the most popular. But you can use Yahoo. Uh, do whatever you want to do. Some of them look a little different. Maybe you like the, the layout better. So play around with those. It's an awesome way to... Um, upload video to your website. 
And then the same way, if you want to add audio, just go to audio, click on audio, find some audio, and open it. Let me find some audio here. Maybe there's some on my desktop. Here's just a little voice thing I did. There you go. Now we have audio. I can double click it, select what kind of player I want. Really similar to the video. Click OK if I want it to auto start, loop, and so forth. So that's how you add audio, and that's how you add video.